Good evening and welcome to the Row Report. I'm Kelly Rowe. The Lions take on the Miami Dolphins and walk away with a win, 32-21. to It was a game that Matthew Stafford... Oh, oh really? <laughs> okay, I'll let him know. Uh, it turns out producers are saying, kind of a, a fun fact, if you will, it turns out that Matthew Stafford and Clayton Kershaw of the Los Angeles Dodgers were childhood friends. They played baseball together. <laughs> kind of a fun little, little tidbit of information there. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyway, it's hopefully a game that will be the end to this unbearable nonsense. Brock Lobster is back, baby. Brock Star. It's Brocktober, baby. Please stop. Please. Please. Please stop. While many of the players had a great game, the focus was undoubtedly on rookie running back Carrion Johnson. Racking up a total of 158 yards, Carrion Johnson did so well that despite being at Hard Rock Stadium, the entire halftime performance was dedicated just to him. Here's a clip. <laughs> Nothing disappoints my parents more than when I hear that song carry on my wayward son and I say, oh, that's song from Guitar Hero, right? Makes my father cry every time. And with carry on making play after play, the Lions racked up a total of 248 rushing yards. That was the best rushing game they've had since 1997. 1997 is a long time ago. In fact, let me name a few things that happened in 1997 for perspective. A jury found O.J. Simpson guilty. Mike Tyson bit off Evander Holyfield's ear and production for the Lord of the Rings film series began. To put that in perspective a little bit more, this is what Frodo looks like now. Feel old yet? Tiger Woods becomes the youngest golfer to win the Masters at the age of 21. Scientists in Scotland clone a sheep named Dolly and Titanic was released. You know, Titanic, that movie where both of them could have lived. There was room on the raft rose. I'm not saying this is a trigger, but even science, and I found this, even science proves that there are multiple different ways that they both could have fit on this raft. Angles and, and uh, numbers and space. Exactly. Thank you, Matthew. Speaking of Matthew Stafford, it turns out that he and Clayton Kershaw were actually childhood friends. They played baseball together. <laughs> what, a, what a cute little tidbit of information to mention a lot as often as possible. In other news, Matt Prater kicks four successful field goals, including a pretty impressive 50-yarder. Uh, it was so impressive, it caught the attention of the man who laughed in the face of people who said that you couldn't play video games for a living, probably including his mom, Ninja. Take a look at this thread. Ninja, I love Matt Prater so much. Matt Prater, thanks for making me the coolest dad ever by mentioning me. My kids think I'm cool now. Sam Martin, you're cool to me too, man. And now I'm jealous at Ninja. Ninja, Sam, don't get me started on your punts. Love you both. Golden Tate. Wow. Ninja, you are my only golden player, Tate. Come on, man. The idea that the video game nerd is now the one that all the jocks want to be friends with is a 2018 I want to live in. Next, you'll tell me the kid eating glue in the corner is going to be like a famous inventor or something. <laughs> and it's rumored that Martin Prater and Tate will soon be quitting the Lions to join Ninja full-time on Fortnite. Boy, Sam is not going to like that I made him a very nicely developed woman. And with that, this has been the Row Report. I'm... Producers are telling me it turns out that Matthew Stafford and Clayton Kershaw are childhood friends who played baseball when they were children together. Both of them, best friends forever. What a great piece of information we need to hear all the time. <laughs> And with that, this has been the Row Report. I'm Kelly Rowe, Pride of Detroit.